True Actions Following on right principles and methods come true actions. One who is striving to grasp true principles and work with sound methods will soon come to perceive that details of conduct cannot be overlooked, that, indeed, those details are fundamentally distinctive or creative, according to their nature, and are of deep significance and comprehensive importance, and this perception and knowledge of the nature and power of passing actions will gradually open and grow within him as an added vision, a new revelation. As he acquires this insight, his progress will be more rapid, his pathway in life more sure, his days more serene and peaceful. In all things, he will go the true and direct way, unswayed and untroubled by the external forces that play around and about him. Not that he will be indifferent to the welfare and happiness of those about him, that is quite another thing, but he will be indifferent to their opinions, to their ignorance, to their ungoverned passions. By true actions, indeed, is meant acting rightly towards others, and the right doer knows that his actions, in accordance with truth, are but for the happiness of those about him, and he will do them even though an occasion may arise when someone near to him may advise or implore him to do otherwise. True actions may easily be distinguished from faults by all who wish so to distinguish in order that they may avoid false action and adopt true. As in the material world, we distinguish things by their form, color, size, etc., choosing those things which we require and putting by those things which are not useful to us. So in the spiritual world of deeds, we can distinguish between those that are bad and those that are good by their nature, their aim, and their effect, and can choose and adopt those that are good and ignore those that are bad. In all forms of progress, avoidance of the bad always precedes acceptance and knowledge of the good.